All right, let's talk about preparing a statement of stockholders' equity. Um, so first of all, what is that? A financial statement, it's a financial statement that shows changes in a corporation's ownership for a fiscal period. Um, the information to prepare a statement of stockholders' equity is obtained from several sources. The current year's income statement summarizes the change in retained earnings from the operation of the business. The general ledger provides the beginning balance and activity in the capital stock account. Um, also, the current year's adjusted trial balance provides the current balances of other capital accounts. So, a uh, statement of stockholders' equity. Um, if we look here, like I just said, we've got the income statement, the capital account, um, capital stock account and then the trial balance so these are the three things that we are going to pull in to take to do the statement of stockholders equity um, capital stock section of the statement of stockholders equity a value assigned to a, ch a share of stock and printed on the stock certificate is called par value so each share of stock issued by a corporation has a monetary value, and that's important for the stockholder. When issuing shares of stock, a corporation can assign any par value allowed by laws in the state in which it incorporates. So let's look at this. Um, we have, write the heading, which is the company name, the statement of stockholders' equity, and the year ending, December 31st, whatever year. Um, the first, first thing we write is capital stock, and on the next line, the par value of the stock, which in this case is oh, $10 par value, indented. And then on the next line, we write January 1st, and the number of shares, um, and shares issued. So January 1st, 7,000 shares issued which at $10 a share would be $70,000, the dollar amount of the stocks issued as the beginning of the year. On the next line, we're writing issued during the current year, 5,000 shares. The number of shares issued um, in the second amount column, write the dollar amount of the stock issued. So 500 times $10 par value is $5,000. And then on the next line, we're writing balance, December 31st, uh, 7,500 shares issued, which is the 7,000 plus the 500. <laughs> um, the current amount of the shares outstanding. Calculate the total dollar amount of stock issued at the end of the year by adding the dollar amount um, of beginning stock and the dollar amount of shares issued during the year. And then we're going to write the total amount, 7,500, in the third amount column. That doesn't seem so difficult. Um, retained earnings section of the statement of stockholders' equity. So net income increases a corporation's total capital. Some income may be retained by a corporation for business expansion. Some income may be distributed as dividends to provide stockholders with a return on their investments. During the year, Three Greens Board of Directors declared $15,000 in dividends. The retained earnings section of the statement of stockholders' equity is prepared using amounts on the adjusted trial balance and the income statement. The beginning balance of retained earnings and the amount of dividends declared are obtained from the adjusted trial balance. The net income after federal income taxes is obtained from the income statement. So that's, those are the documents we're using to put all this information together. So let's go through this. Um, so we've already written all of this stuff and all of this stuff. So next we're going to write down the heading retained earnings. And then our beginning balance. Um, it's from the adjusted trial balance. And we indent it. Um, so we write balance January 1st and um, the beginning balance. And we pull that information from the adjusted trial balance sheet. And then net income after federal income tax, that's from the income statement. We need to pull that information over. And then write the amount of dividends, which in this case is $15,000 from the adjusted trial balance. Then we're going to subtract those two, um, $79,000 less $15,000, and we have our increase in retained earnings. 
add the beginning balance of retained earnings, 65,000, and the increase in retained earnings, 64,000. So we add these two together and we get $130,115.41. Okay, then we add that together with the 75,000 and we get the total stockholders equity. All right, what's the financial, what financial information does a statement of stockholders equity report? It's the changes in a corporation's ownership for a fiscal period. What are the two major sections of a statement of stockholders equity? Capital stock and retained earnings. Um, where is the information found to prepare the capital stock section of a statement of stockholders equity? We send the beginning, the income statement, the capital stock account, and the adjusted trial balance in the capital stock general ledger account. Where is the beginning? Oh, sorry. Let's do this one again. Where is the information found to prepare the capital stock section of a statement of stockholders' equity? It's important. That one is just the capital stock general ledger account. Next, we have the beginning balance of retained earnings. Where is that found? That's in the unadjusted trial balance. So we need lots of worksheets to finish this assignment. And then when issuing shares of stock, what par value can a corporation assign to each share? A corporation can assign any par value allied, any par value allowed by laws in the state in which it incorporates. That's a very um, non-answer, but it's, it's an answer. And where is the net income after federal income taxes found? That's in the income statement. And that's it. Let's do the work together.